Hi grade 5, so hope you're all well. I'm going to explain to you what to do on the 21st of May for NS and T. We are doing properties and uses of processed materials. Okay, starter, answer verbally. Verbally means don't write the answer down, you only say it to yourself. Okay, I want you to try and remember what properties of material are. Can you remember what it means? What does properties mean? Okay, and if you read a little bit further, it is what a material looks like and how it behaves. So basically, it's characteristics. Okay, um, unfortunately, we still, we have, again, a lot of keywords to make a summary of. There's an example of mine. I haven't filled in the meanings yet, so that's your job to do. Um, so you're going to go to uh, summary page 96 and if you look on page 96 you will see many keywords i think there are 10. okay so your first job is to make a keyword summary okay let's go to the work okay we choose um, materials to make certain products because of their special properties okay so for example we choose a metal to make a pot because it can conduct heat. Okay. And we choose wool to make a jersey because it keeps us warm. So we have to think about a property of the material before we can make a product. Before you pick the material of a product, you have to think of the properties. Okay. So we are going to look at different properties and uses of different materials. Now, if you look at the activity, so you're going to complete copy this um, table. So three columns, material, two properties for each material, and then two uses for each material. And you're going to find your answers on page 96 to 100. So you're going to look for plaster of Paris. You're going to find two properties. Okay, and then you're going to find two uses. Same with concrete, ceramics, glass, plastic, paint. So if you're going to look at your textbook, you will see page 96, Plaster of Paris. You start reading. What is the characteristics of um, Plaster of Paris? So yeah, I'm going to quickly help you. You will see it's water resistant and fire resistant okay so there you have two properties and then here is a whole list of users so you only have to choose two okay concrete you read most of the properties are in bold print so it will be easy for you to find and then there's a list of users um uh, next page, fabrics. I didn't add fabrics to your uh, table, but you can read through it because there's so many different types of fabrics. I skipped fabrics for you guys. Okay, so let's look at ceramics and glass. Here's a whole story about ceramics. Find two properties, useful properties, and then you go and find two users. So there you will see there's users of ceramics then glass glass there's the properties and then you will see some users and you can add your own if you want if you look here you will also see some ideas okay then the next page paint go and read about paint find some users find some properties oh not paint plastics <laughs> here is paint Look for some ideas for paint, uses of paint, and the properties of paint. Okay, so that's not a difficult activity. And I think you can do this very quickly. Okay, then plenary. Which material will you choose to make a fish tank? Why? Now think about what do you want to do with a fish tank? What must be the properties of the material that you have to pick for a fish tank and then okay I picked glass because it's waterproof and it is 
transparent because you want to see the fish inside. Okay. So I hope you enjoy the activity and that it's quite easy. And then hopefully I see you soon. Ta-ta.